G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joe Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to Australia, the sun is popping up, it's very dim and dark outside, but it is day 19, I've got today and tomorrow to really get my preparations done, I've got this real slapped together horde base in here that's barely even worth barely even worth talking about i don't think it's gonna last another night in any sort of state so i've got a lot of work to do to prepare for the horde and try and get this working i'm still pretty miffed i'm pretty miffed that i forgot to buy that compi crossbow when i had the chance uh yesterday so i'm gonna have to make good at some point soon sugar butts i can make my own awesome sauce which just needs some mushrooms but i also want to see can i make any cheesecakes out of you cheesecake i can i can make three of you you've got some extra extra time on that i'm gonna see if i can harvest any mushies before i go i do need to go back to trading it's a restock day today all of these are still growing, so there's some time left on those too. But it's trading restock day today so i can start planning ahead and it's got something good worth buying well, after some raiding and some work, I might have the cash to get it. You know what? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. Nightingale, would you like to follow me, please? Command menu, follow me. Baker Byron, you can follow me too. But most importantly, Fluffy and Sally, pat, 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 pat. You can both come with me as well. Oh, look at, look at, look at Fluff. Fluff's getting up and about, dancing and bounding with joy. That's how I know it's the right decision. But I, I should probably take, if I can, bicycle. I don't have to chassis all the handlebars. I might even quickly try and make one of those. Because if I can take a bicycle with me, if I get into trouble with one of those, get into trouble, I can chuck a bicycle down, jump on it nice and quick teleport my NPCs to me and get them out of a spot of bother. Because after all, that's Fluff and Sal. These three Muppets are terrible at protecting them, so I've got to do it myself. Putting together my new wheels. Oh, g'day, Bet. No, you're not Bambi. Bambi's a male deer. G'day, don't we? Whatever. <laughs> Putting together my new bicycle has got me through the worst of the weather, and now the sun is shining. Ooh. There's a church down the road. There's lots of springs down there, which I wouldn't mind going and getting for various things. But if I just keep you in my hot bar, look at that. See, I can jump on you. All of the NPCs come and teleport into my pocket, then teleport back out again. That's a good move. That's a good bloody move. You can come with me. Keep you in my hot bar just in case. The last thing I want to be doing if Sally or Fluff's in trouble is faffing about with my backpack trying to fumble my way and grab my uh, grab my bike out. Keep it in the hot bar. Keep it ready. I can grab a wrench later if I need. I know I said I needed cash. I need to go do some jobs for trading, especially now those tier 3s. Oh my goodness, my voice sounds like I'm gargling spanners at the moment, but that's okay. Little dusty, little rusty, but still up and about. Oh, <laughs> it's like rolling in winterweed all over again. I got a squad of friends to back me up, all armed to the teeth with all sorts of AKs and very toothy grins. Let's do it. You guys ready? Come on inside, please. Go get him. Go get him. I'll stay at the pulpit and I'll preach the sermon while you dish it out. Stay away from the books. Stay away from the books. Do, do any... Come on. You gotta... You gotta do better than that. It was half a zombie. You still couldn't get it sorted out. What are you guys doing? I found an assault rifle book so I can make a tacky boy quality one... Now? <laughs> What's going on, mate? Want to take a seat next to each other? Tell me. Tell me what's news. Tell me what you're repenting about. Because the end is nigh. Or at least the end has very much come. I can't imagine that feels especially comfortable. <laughs> Just seven days things. It's fine. It's all good. I definitely feel like the um, NPCs have been nerfed a lot since Winterwind. They're just not doing nearly as much damage as they were not so long ago. Like, you would have been dead a million years ago. Oh, those was, was wrong shotguns, I suppose. Maybe I need to... Oh! Alright, Fluff, calm down. Maybe I need to change them over to shotties instead? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but they're just not quite having the punch or the hit or the damage I'd expect of them. I always want them all. I confess coming to the church may have had some ulterior motives, because look, we have a bell. We have a bell, and not only do we have a bell, we now have a bell! We have a bell! 
all the bongs I've had this mod installed for a little bit. Just waiting to see if there would be an excuse to come and ring one at some point and... It makes me happy. How is this not in vanilla? Uh, vanilla? This is actually a mod made by BW. Uh, I have seen it posted an awful lot. Makes me happy every bloody time. Uh, but I finally got it. He actually jumped into my Discord and told me about it. So... It's everything. It's everything I ever wanted it to be. So big thank you to both BW for making the mod and everyone who's told me about it. I'm thrilled. I'm stoked. I'm... Apparently incapable of walking across rafters. Hold on a second, I'll get back. Oh, jeez. Nightingale, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Gee whiz, I'm ringing bells and Nightingale's about to ring my bell. And completely justifiably too. I can hear some footsteps outside. I can't see on outside though. Gonna quickly get some reading material for some more cooking, some bow hunting, and oh, I can make a T1 wooden bow now. If only I had got the bleeding copy cross, but it wouldn't even be an issue for me. No, no one out there. I thought I heard the moaning groan of someone cruising by. Oh god! Alright, yep, there definitely was. He pushed me out of the way. I thought it was another dance or another baker, but nah. Alright. All right, excuse me, excuse me, Sal. I'm, um, I, I don't think I want to run with all the NPCs. The lighting house 25 meters away. Hang on a second, I'll get you back again. They're like, they're just not as effective as they were. And I'm, I'm terrified of losing them. So I'm not, uh oh, I'm not super sure what to do. Listen, I know I accidentally picked up your skirt, Nightingale, but there's no reason to pin me in the corner like that. I've got most of everyone with me, I think. I'm missing. Nightingale, she's gone running off somewhere again. Clear, nope, sorry, there you are. Clear across the land, bicycle, I'll take you back. All right, this is about to get a little bit hairy in here, so make sure you guys have your itchy trigger fingers somewhere near the levers. You're gone. Oh, did you? I was gonna say, did you hit me? I, I don't think you did in the end. I heard the whack, but I didn't lose any health. That was unusual. Some cheeky shades. Excuse me. Need to grab all the loot. In fact, maybe if I go, Sally, uh, loot around here. Where's Fluff? Fluff, you. You could also loot around here. Be safe. Be good. Make good choices. Me and the bipedal Muppets are going to go and clear the rest of it. Just want to make sure the doggos are okay. All right, you three, stay with me, please. Uh, Fluffy and Sally are 20 meters away doing their good thing. This is where shit kicks off. So you three need to be ready to rock and roll. Activate the switch. I'm not frothing up, so it is going to get dicey. Can also see, is that one of my dogs that's howling like that, or is it one of the others? Oh, all right. Oh, no. No, no, no. All right, get back to the door. Back to the door. Back to the door. Come on. Bam, 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 bam. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go. The place is burning down. Uh, Byron. Yeah, that, that, you're all coming with me. You're fine. I'll even bust, oh, bust out my AK too. They burned the bloody building down. They burned the building down. You guys had one job, high value targets first, and instead, we well, now we've got this to deal with. I feel like they're going to get themselves set on fire. Nana, can you come with me, please? Byron, come with me. And Nightingale, come with me. I trust my slippery flippers more than I trust yours. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of wood down here. Thank goodness the pups aren't down here, though. As things start collapsing all over the joint, just reach in and grab you nice and fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need the springs. Oh, I, I came here to ring some bells. And I might have, uh, it might have been a choice. Maybe I need to come back to it then. Just let it, like, burn through. Oh, I got bigger. And come back another day? I don't. I, I, I don't think I can get through there. Can I? Oh, do I want to risk it? I don't. I do have some murky waters if I absolutely need it. If I jump up to there and get over to the door, I can make it happen. Huh? Over to you. Ah, didn't work. Didn't work. Drink the murky fluids. Put out the fire, please. All right, we're a little singed. We're, we're a little touchy around the edges, but we're not shitting ourselves. So I guess that's successful. There's an awful lot of footsteps upstairs. I'm pretty sure there's a wandering horde coming through. Grab that. Read you. Take the bookshelves, please. Uh, get over to there. Grab those books if you can. Always save the literature. Thank you. I can't even, I can't even close the door because you're on a fire. Can't come through doors, but it looks... Oh my goodness. I don't, I, I don't know where the dogs are. 
I, I, who let the bleeding dogs out like it's 2002? Whatever. What is that? No, probably only get that, actually. It's always who let the dogs out and uh, freestyle by Bob Funk, Bob Funk, even MC. The, uh, the two songs that always uh, go hand in hand in my head. I, I guess the video clips were on bloody V Music, whatever it was back in the day, one after the other. Take all of you. I'm watching the health of my dogs like a bleeding hawk to make sure that no one's tickling me poochies. I'm the only one allowed to boop their snoots because I boop it with love. The horde's got to stay away. Nothing really fantastic. Oh, I take that back. I thought it was a... No, no, no. Doggy, dog, dog. Um, Come on, I can do it. I can do it. There you go. Come to me. Oh my goodness gracious gosh. Sal, Sally, fucking come here, please. Oh, you sizzly pup. Okay, I've got a pocket full of friends and a mouth full of regrets. Poor little doggo. Poor little doggo. Got caught in the file. Take it home. We'll be okay, I promise. Forgot to search the bloody book, but I did get a triple storage pocket mod. I got my dogs. Read you, read all of that. I'm so sorry, Sal. I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you at some point soon. I bloody promise. I gotta get out of here first. And it sounds like things upstairs are not gonna go especially my way. After today, like a freaking Max and Goofy movie. Open the door. Open the door. We gotta get out. We gotta get out. The doors are open. I don't really need anything out of you. I just want to get out so I can see what the shit I'm dealing with. There's no one here. So when I get Sal home, she's still going to be on fire. I might have to get like a bucket of water or something ready for him. My poor pooch. Thank God. Thank God I made myself the um the the bicycle purely for that reason. Because if I didn't, she might have been in a bit of a spot of bother. I've heard of hot dogs. I like them for dinner and lunches and all sorts of meals. But Sally's not one. Sally must be protected. I've lured out the rest of this horde. That I should be easy enough. Just a regular stroke away through all of you guys you aren't ferals you're just regulars now nah, you're not you're not a regular you're just real stroppy because i punched you in the nose <laughs> generally it's a pretty good way to get someone annoyed with you but punching him square in the face it's rare that it happens and people are happy about it but <laughs> trust me i know you get punched in the face in this game every four seconds can i finish you i think you're the last one that's definitely the last one there and there's one more inside all right Apparently, I don't know what definitely means because that's absolutely definitely the last one. Check the loot bag for anything in your pockets. Was there... Oh, you guys have been... You guys have been having a time in here, haven't you? Oh, don't go downstairs. It only gets worse. I guess I'll come back to the church at some point when the fires are out so I can go and get all the rest of the... Oh, no! Oh, no! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If, if a rabbit's gonna die, which is an unfortunate thing already, I'm not gonna let you just have a snack like a bag of Doritos. I'm gonna take it home and put it to use to make sure it's every last part of it is actually useful. Can't just come over and start gobbling. The bloody nerve of ya. Yeah, I'll come back to the church another time. We'll get those beds down below. I don't think the whole place should burn down, but I'm not super confident about that. It's all right, doggies. It's all right. We're okay. You're all good. Uh, you come with me first, please. Is this Sally dog? No, oh, Sally. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to fix. I don't know how to fix this. What if I just pat? Stop, drop, and roll. Do something. I don't know how to. I don't know how to help you. I don't know how to help you. Um. Okay, I'm gonna pick you back up. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick you back up because you just keep perpetually being on fire. Fluffy's okay. You uh stay right there, please. Thank you very much. I do not want you to get the flamey touch. You can go there. Nightingale, uh, stay where you are standing. How do I? How do I fix? How do I fix Sally? What do I do about Sally? Poor Sally dog. This is awful. If only my swimming pool had some fluids in it. This is now my only priority. This is now my only priority. Is there any... Oh, there's a swing pool over here. But there is also like this gutter just over that way. Sal, come with me. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to find a way to fix you. I've got you into this mess. So the least I can do is try and fix it for you. The pool's just 200 meters that way. I'll go to that one first. Oh, poor Sal. Poor Sal. Thank goodness I found a mansion in the pretty ritzy neighborhood where someone's got a pool. I should have had my own bloody pool if I chose a nicer house. The mansion near tradies, I'm sure, has it. This is now superseding everything. Fuck the horde base. Fuck the compy crossbow. Fuck doing shit for tradie potato. Sally is the one. Sally is everything. Sally is all. You do those things for your pets. 
Black Target in the pool. There you go, Sally. There you go, Sally. Pat, pat, pat. You're all right, love. You're all right. Come on, come home. No longer on fire. Success. I'm going back home. The crickets have just... Not the crickets, the cicadas. The, like, the weird, like, vibrating noise that cicadas make. Sweet reverse driving, though. Uh, has just sounded, but I don't think it's Trader Restock Day. No, sorry, it is Trader Restock Day, but I don't think I get a, um... An airdrop today, because... At some point, like, day 16... No, not day 16. Like, day 30, whatever it is. The, it just goes out of sync. I'm not super duper sure why. Sally Doggy. There you go. Talk to Sally. Please stay right there. Did you guys, like, find anything, though? You found a couple of bits of iron. Fluffo, did you find some more sunnies? Not too bad. I'm going to need... Oh, where's my, where's my bloody manners? Where's my bloody manners? Doghouse, I'm going to need... I don't have much wood. I've got some more in the other room. I mean, unless you guys want to snuggle together, Sally and Fluffy in the same doghouse, which I think you might want to. Yeah, no, they're fine. They're fine. They don't need their own houses. They're good, they're good cuddling up together. <sighs> okay. All right. Whew, okay, let's take a nice deep breath. All of my NPCs the same. Sally Dog is nice and happy, and her coat is still glistening and shiny. She's got to get some extra treats in her meals from now on. I promise her that. But that was all sorts of awful. That is the exact opposite of everything I wanted to do today. Didn't even get all of the springs. Didn't even keep my Sally Dog safe. So an abject failure. But there's still time to make it better. G'day, Arlene. <laughs> did you even... Where did... Where did she go? I, I... I got the damage to the car. I got the XP boost, but I don't... I don't know what actually happened to our lady. She just clipped out of existence. Fair play then. Um, we can still have time to go to Trader, do the job I need to, try and get the money that I need to, and try and make a success out of this genuine wrung out sponge of a morning. Grim. Absolutely grim. We'll see if they've implemented the honk to open yet. They have. I feel like a double tap on the honk should be the way to do it. Then the gates can open. You can drive your car in. Especially how most of the, like the trader compounds are designed to have the loop around. Like, look, you drive in, turn left, park up here, honk to open that gate as well. Actually use the compound how it's meant to be. That's just, this is another pipe driven one I'd love to see. Infested clears down the road. Fetching clears. That's a very close one, actually. And I haven't had a lot. Ooh, Savage Country. I haven't had a lot of luck. When it comes to um, the infestations, I think I have been getting my world rocked in the worst possible way a lot of the time. So instead, a nice, easy fetch and clear. Easy fetch and clear. I'm probably still going to get stepped on a little bit, but hopefully with just like some Jordans, not a stiletto. It's not one of the really bloody big ones, but there is a gun rack in the back. I will reset you. I've left my car in a bit of a precarious position. I might actually... There you go, not be such a selfish twat and actually park up in a parking space. I'll just leave my car right in front of the entryway like I'm more important than everyone else. G'day, g'day, everyone. How are you? Oh, I thought that was a hand. It is not. In fact, I can't... With all like, the gubbins on the ground, I'm struggling to pick out which ones are the zombies and which ones are... Oh, that's definitely the zombies. Piles of clothes aren't known for standing tall like that, even if it is Lozum. Not even I'm that insulting. That was a copper. Oh. I was going to say someone just came through the roof, but came onto my knuckles as well. You can just keep on getting hits until you stay down for good. There's going to be one more on the far side somewhere. No, those are mannequins. No one hanging out through here either. There's lots of books around as well that I want, but that's going to have to wait. <laughs> got to prioritize the zombies first. There's so many different loot containers through here. I'm not going to raid every last item of clothing that's on any sort of rack. I'm just going to... Oh! Try and play this properly. Avoid the shells. I think they're still bulletproof. Right to the tippy top of your skull. Nice and juicy. There's one there. I'm going to shoot you in the dick. If I can't get a headshot, I'll still get a headshot. Nice little follow-up. Run through your forehead too. Turn you into a bloody unicorn. And then shoot you through the heart. You're still up and going. Give you... Oh, I was going to say, give you a little bit of lead. Like that. Fucking good by me. And then just you. There we go. The back of the room's nice and clear. Fuck, that actually wasn't too bad, was it? I'm sure there's going to be a few more zombies trying to break their way into this place in just a moment. So... 
I didn't hear any gurgles, so I think I'm gonna be okay for coppers and water balloons. Just a yeti. Sit you down, loza two. Power attacks when you sat, and that should be just about it, I think. Nice and quickly. Also grab any extra murky waters for me, of which there are none, nothing else. And then the main loot room. All right, close the door again. Let them come to me. I've got the shotgun already loaded. They should all, I was gonna say, come, missed it. Come to this side. I should have time to reload the shoddy. Just like the amount of extra damage that the shotgun can do from that kind of close range makes it still pretty shit, pretty viable. Even when I'm specced into other things. Copper's gone. Door's open. That's a, oh, that's a feral. Please sit the fuck down like everyone else. Got it. I talked about no special treatment earlier. You don't get it either. Everyone gets put down. That's actually the job done for the clear. There's the courier satchel. That was, um, that wasn't a bad little innings to be perfectly honest with. I got through there much smoothly, um, Sure, got through there much smoothly uh, than I was anticipating. Quickly grab some steel arrowheads, some iron arrows. Thank you, I do actually need some of those. I've been burning through them, but there's no tomorrow because, well, if I don't burn through them, there won't be a tomorrow. Cash Rego 2, nothing in you. I didn't grab you guys, I don't think. Quickly grab any waters. Thank you, and also grab you as well. No, nothing. That's so gross. <laughs> You gotta be on a certain level of desperation to think that someone else's used and partially flushed toilet paper qualifies as loot. I mean, it's it's an aspect, it's a detail I didn't really expect nor want, but I can understand it. It's just gross. Grab the rest of this loot ammo pile with just some ammo. It's more 762, actually. I'm still pretty desperate for that. Some more T3 iron stuff, which I can repair and sell. Read you, read you, scrap you, and take the rest. Thank you very much. I think we're done. I think that's all like the decent loot gotten out of you. Is there... I don't think there's any like secret areas or anything in this. There might be... Ooh, thank you. There might be somewhere, but I'm not too sure off the top of my head. I think I'm better off just getting down like that. Jumping back in the car and going back to tradies. Because after all, he's going to give me money. <laughs> that's what I'm bucking for. I've left the gates open, so I get to use I get to use the trader roads like they're designed. What an unusual pleasure. You can hold on to all of oop, oh, read you, all of that for the moment. I'm not gonna do any selling right now. That's a lay to me problem. Trader go, Bob. Friend. Whatever you need. I just spent just so much money on a tier five steel axe and compromised myself with a copy crossbow, and you're offering me a free tier four. This is like the buddy Warren's all, all over again. Uh what are you? 5% less damage when wearing the fireman helmets. Can I can I get one for Sally Dog? I feel like she needs it more than me. An adorable little fireman's outfit for both my little doggies to cruise around in. Now I really want that to be a thing. Why isn't there dog armor in this? The, it, free, free update for you. There you go. I mean, I don't have to do any of the coding for it, but free idea at the very least. Uh, craft magazine bundle, obviously, I'll take you. A C6 nail gun, don't need it. Advanced bellows, don't need it. 4 before truck chassis, chassis even, maybe. I'm now level 50, got a skill point to spend. Electrical traps. We've got a couple... Ooh. Do you have a couple of different book series? Not ones that I particularly need immediately, but... Something to keep in mind for later. Bullet tips, petrol... Do you have... What? You wanna tell me that again, please? Gyrocopter accessories for forty thousand dollar redos. Well, that's gonna be about uh, twenty grand after I get all the ben uh, benefits going, but still not have enough for it anyway. Fuck! Now I really want that. See it, so tacky boy. No, thank you, Magnum. No, thank you. Cobblestone rocks. Nah, it's really just the gyro, isn't it? It's really just the gyro accessory because I've opened up so much more of the country. I need 20 grand. I need 20 grand immediately. All right, you're going to have to give me a lot more high paying jobs then there, champion. Give me Can the next fetch and clear. The really? bottomless something. I don't have time to read it. Just get in the car. Chuck a cheeky whiz bang Yui. Round we go and back out the other door. So look, it's so clearly designed to be like that. Hopefully it's a thing there. I was going to say that I think they're going to do for Alpha 22, which is now... 
1.0, but definitely still after 22. Hope that's going to be a thing, because if it is, it makes so much more sense. And also, give the stupid horn function a, a, an actual function. I've been up this end of town before. In fact, there's the blue birdie just there. Oh, can I... It's a tight squeeze. Oh, suck it in. You shouldn't have had so many bloody Big Macs before the world fell apart, but... Nah, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting through that next little sliver of a gap. That's where the motorcycle comes into play. But we're fine. Open you. Quickly read everything all the way through. I can make Seal Tools quality five, so I don't need to worry about buying myself the other books from Trady. Nice and fast. Tickle you. That's not concrete, so I don't need that one. Excuse me. If everyone in here can really quickly make themselves known so I can punch you square in the chops, I'd super appreciate it because I don't have time and I really need money. Time is money. So you're all going to have to pay for it. I'm not just saying this because I'm Australian and I'm slightly parched, but poor, I could go for a, ch oh, a cheeky froth right now. That's a pigeon, not a froth. I see you. I've now got the suppressor. Oh, I love the look of the pistol with the purple grips on it. I've got the suppressor rolling on the pistol now just to make things like that, that little bit smoother and that little bit silent. So, there's an egg's nest there. Cuckoo check you for an egg. Thank you. Nothing really good in you though. Come on, just keep going. Keep going. Don't get distracted by beautiful people like your bloody Derek Zoolander. I hear a dog. I see a dog. But the dog can't reach me because I have the sweet ability of usable knees. I still got cartilage better than the two of you can say. Oh, that sounded bad. Oh, that's just a ScoMo. I missed that. Oh, that first shot. I didn't quite get ScoMo down in time. Had to put my focus on the Lozum. We're fine. We're fine. Slice them all apart with the boomerangs of death. Man, you, you put a boomerang in the hand. Oh, the hands are Australian. That doesn't automatically mean I'm going to be good with it, but I'm going to at least try to uh, maintain the stereotype. Quickly check the water cooler for some murky fluids in case I get accidentally set on fire again. Another ScoMo. Oh, just. The insta hit, the insta gooey legs. Oh, I've never had that effect on my hands before, but I really like it. Some more money in the wall safe and some knuckle parts. I'm lousy with steel knuckle parts for a very rare moment. I am actually rolling knucks and normally that means I never find steel knuckle parts ever again. I am exceedingly shy on... Well, that's the loot room in there. I'm exceedingly shy on steel tool parts, but I guess you can't ever have everything. That can't go that way. There's no like false ceilings or anything. Open you. Oh, so that's always going to be the last one. Any ferals? No, oh, you're fine. No worries. As long as there's no ferals or rads or coppers, I'm usually pretty okay. It's a weird comforting feeling when they're not coming for me like that. Are you ready for me to absolutely jinx this? I'm feeling much more in rhythm today. I feel like I'm much more in my stride than I have been, especially yesterday. Uh, the two episodes I filmed yesterday, I was just all over the shop like a mad dog's breakfast, but... Today, definitely feel like I've got like my got I've got my step back. I'm thinking properly, I'm playing properly, and I'm not quite as messed up as I would have been otherwise. That was a nice little pill. Nope, nope. Copper no. Let's get you out. Use the gun that I do the most amount of damage with to slink on through the hole and get my arrows back again. Thank you and thank you. As long as you get that nice shot on him nice and early to stop the vom, you're usually pretty okay. There's the key to get out the front door. Which I'll grab, open sesame, and bring them out to me. Who are we dealing with? Get you out of the way real fast. Move you. I see green goose. There's probably a water balloon, but I don't see anyone sprinting to... Oh, there's a copper. Copper. Just got him in time. Excuse me. I'm trying to get the copper in the background, please. Make sure he's nice and dead. Everyone else looks pretty okay. The houses are burning down. All right. We're fine. <laughs> What is going on with you guys recently, though? Every time I come and see you, you're being a big pile on instead. You've all been hanging out with Loza for too long. Watching all of that with Skippy the room. You've already got two big ears. I'll put another one through your two. Uh, let's go AK. Just don't take any risks that you don't really need to do. I do need to kill you, though. I'm very sorry about that. Harvest you up. Okay. I <laughs> just... You know, I'm, I'm a little bit terrified of the ruse. I feel like I should be able to drop them easier, and I definitely can't, so I always get myself in trouble. I will eat you straight away. 
I'm actually pretty low on loot for running through that whole place. Got a can of dog food, so Sally's got to be happy. Hey, I promised Sally snacks, and the game is giving me Sally snacks. Like Scooby snacks, but better. I've already popped open everything. Mo Powers box with some wiring, some tech butter, and a battery that I'll just scrap for the lead. Thank you. Grab the weapons bag for scrap, scrap, and read. Seal knuckles quality one. What do you reckon the go is going to be between the boomerang uh, knuckles, boomerang bruises, and regular tier one steel knuckles? I'm not sure. I might have to make one for science. That was the... Ooh. Oh, no. Not the flopsy quest again. I haven't finished the bloody last one yet. In fact, how are we looking for that one? We've got... Still a lot more to go. I'm generally not really seeking them out. And still a lot more go, uh, to go over the Eastern Native Australian animals too. Um, it was, yeah, it was the last of the Knuckles books. So perk books, uh, bar brawling. The Seven Strike now does 300% damage. And all the other perks that go with it. Knuckles is actually really, really bloody good. Now that there's an Australian specific knuckle for it as well. Even more reason to go there. I almost left, I almost left the building like I'm bloody Elvis, but I didn't get, sorry there, Cobber, I didn't get the, uh, that door's still locked, the supplies yet, which is supposed to be like right here somewhere, ring a ring a Rosie, up oh, there you are, oh, there it is, up you get, grab you, nice Gary, alright, straight out the back door then, straight back out to my car and we can go back to tradies, oh come on. <laughs> suck it in, would you, big dick? You gotta get through there. <laughs> Just suck it in and squeeze. Oh god, it's a platypus. Platypus? Platypus, no. Platypus, bad. I'm sorry. I had to kill you up. You started it. I've got heaps of time, so no qualms in using the trader as designed again, because it's so much better. And every time I get to do it, it makes me bloody happy. How Something are you? you like. How are you, Cobbo? I thought I heard some tippy tappies, but now we're fine. Trader Bob. And here is your payment. Well then, I was tempted to test out the T1 Steel Knuckles, but I can't imagine you got- Oh my goodness gracious, golly gosh! You're another like- What? Fucking 25% better than the other ones? Oh way! None of the others even come close, so I'll absolutely take you, thank you very much. You've got an infested clear to the northeast, and I live in the northwest, so that won't work. You do have a fetch, you've got to clear zombies to the north. I've got just I don't mind me. the infestation. So maybe Not I can do me. you first thing tomorrow morning on the way back to tradies. There's still a crack book down the road, but I can do that one. Then come back to tradies in the morning. All of this to try and get cash to take to the skies. Seems like a worthwhile endeavor, but... <laughs> I mean, I said this morning I wanted to make my horde base better, and I've done absolutely fuck all towards doing that. Because of course I haven't. I'm just in a good mood. I'm, I'm swilling me chair, I'm just having a good time, having a nice little cruise back through town. Despite how shambolic the start of today went with some pretty nightmare film material happening. Uh, you know what? It's ended out really well. Ooh. It's ended off really well. And what, I can just turn down here. Got a little bit of time. We're 20 minutes. Have a quick little... Oh, that goes down, that goes down to the sewers. I don't want to go anywhere close to that. But there might be an ATM in here. Or at least a working vendor with some more sugar butts. Fucking thank you very much. Oh, I regret. I regret. I regret. There was a copper. Hang on. And a couple of ferals took. I'm pretty sure there's an ATM in there somewhere. I might even... You know what? You're just a regular feral. Sit you. Where's that copper gone, though? Where's that copper gone? There's a... Crawler that I can't seem to hit very well at all. Got your sat. He might be having a heart attack. Hang on. Move, 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 move. He's gone. That was actually... That was actually pretty clean for what it could have been. There we go. I accidentally rhymed. I didn't even know that I was a poet. Some murky waters. Was there no... Was there no safe in here? I really... I really thought there was, but... Oh, is it, there's a roof fight going on, though. You, know you can handle that. You can handle that. I'm just going to go. <laughs> I feel like I already took a gamble I didn't need to, and I got away with it. Don't ask twice. So when's the next trader restock then? Uh, actually, I've got the wall over there, don't I? Uh, it's 22. So the morning after the next Blood Rune Horde is next trader restock day. I've been saying for almost exactly two weeks now that 
after the next horde, I would move out of Brisbane, skip Sydney, and move down to Melbourne. But Trader Bob is the vehicle trader. What if he has? What if he has another piece of drive? What if he has the chassis there? What if I could fly to Melbourne instead of drive to Melbourne? Rather than the 24-hour drive from uh, from Queensland down to Victoria, what if I could just... Oh, I got everything out of there. That's some, that's some fucking deep pockets. <laughs> and we're not being stingy around here. Yeah, there's no short-arm deep pocket action happening now. Oh, no. We are storing everything and dishing it out. But if I could fly to Melbourne instead... Oh, that could be so good. Then I could go anywhere. I could do anything. I could go to Perth. I could go to the Northern Territory. Or I could go to fucking Broome if I want to. Think of the possibilities. Before I forget, not that I really could, I do need to change over to the Bruises. If I go to you real fast, steal... No, no, I need an L on that one there, Chief. Thank you. Steal Knuckles. I've got all the things I need. I mean, amazing. It's gonna take two minutes, but for science, we'll figure out what's actually better. Never loved the like the model for the steel knuckles. The corkscrew makes no sense. This is asking for an infection. The big blades don't just make it even un more unusable than regular iron knuckles. It looks cool, looks unique, but it always kind of hurts me to look at. Whereas the um like the boomerang bruises. I mean, they're not actually boomerangs, but those little, like, those little, like, punches on the knuckles and the blades on the side. I can see that making more sense, and therefore, more inclined to use them. While I'm waiting for that to craft, though, quickly check my fungus farm for absolutely nothing. None of them are grown yet. That's, that's a lie. The fungus grows in my shower all the bloody time in the blink of an eye. How do you not have any fungus yet? Take all of you. Supercorn. All oh, that's still growing. Gather me chooks. Couple of eggs. Some more eggs, some honeys as well. Thank you and thank you. So these are good. These see, I mean, like the apiary is probably a bit of a stretch, but I mean, like the chicken coops and stuff. That's another thing that should absolutely be a part of vanilla. But now that like you have it and you're using it, you kind of wonder why it wasn't a thing to start with. I was curious how far away I would be from that gyrocopter. I'm not even halfway there. It's the drop. A hundred books to get like the top tier. I know that like, kind of like extends the crafting life of the game. I get that, but it just makes it so difficult to ever get there in this kind of format. Uh, unless I, I sacrifice everything and just push for that. But tier one knuckles, it's not fair to compare against the tier four boomerangs. Which one's the better one? You're the better one of the two. So tier one boomies versus tier one steel knucks. So the boomerangs are better. And both boomerangs are better as well. Very interesting, which means it's here for Are the boomerang bruises the best? We've got an extra mod slot in you too. Are the boomerang bruises the best of the, like the knuckle class? Is there another one I don't know about yet? I can't give you chlamydia. I can give you bunker buster though. Grab you, modify that one, chuck you in. I'm gonna need a new box for all the mods I've got as well. I'm stacking them up. I'm gonna have to go through and sort out all of my sellable stuff. Not necessarily for tomorrow, but well, for pretty much tomorrow afternoon, I guess. Maybe I chuck it all, mm, no, actually no, it's fine. I still have to wait for my mushrooms to grow to get the awesome sauce, to get the benefit and make another. $13,000 redos because of bloody course. Well, I'm gonna have to come back and keep on making money like it's the Millionaire series from like two alphas ago. Do nothing but make some cash to buy the gyro accessories to try and fly to Melbourne in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.